sweet, sweet victory. The sponges have climbed up the Bull Mountain, and at the end of last season, we conquered the Hawaii Bowl. The ascent is upon us, so grab your sponge merch and scrub daddies while you still can, because the sponges are about to become an annual contender in the Mountain West. We are yet to win a Mountain West title, but with full access to the recruiting board, four and five star recruits, as well as those landlocked sponges, we are about to put the league on notice. Start of year five means it's Brandon Moore and Adam Allen's final season, the senior season. And you already know we just have to send them out with a bang. Thankfully, this is the right time to begin the search for the new era of Salona Beach football. And we're going to be searching for four to five star quarterbacks that want to join the team. Look at the top of our list. JP Johnson, a six foot six scrambling quarterback who has our school as his number one interest. Yeah, get on my board. And if it wasn't obvious already, Coach Philip Rivers is definitely putting his name in the top prospect sweepstakes. Let's see if JP Johnson is always hyped out to be four star quarterback. He's a bust. That is a flop. Frank Goins, a gem running back here with 85 spectacular catch. That's nuts. A lot of bust on this board though. Carson Bynum here, a solid free safety. Just got to get in the mix for this guy. You can always go with Mark Blanchard, an athlete who's 80 overall, 86 speed, 89 excel, 88 throw power. That would play well. Somehow I'm just going to have to convince him to come to Solana Beach. Couple offseason notes, Brandon Moore upped his game and added a sleeve. And our stud defensive tackle, John John, changed his number to number six because big time players wear big time numbers. This is our first time finally having a crack at the big boys and Jerry Walker, a 81 overall tight end. Yes, please take my scholarship, take my points. I want you. We talked about Mark Blanchard. He could be the face of this program if we can land him. So uh, we'll give him all the points as well. And actually this is encouraging. His bonus factors line up pretty well with the Solana Beach. Carson Bynum would be a nice addition to the secondary, so we gave him some points and a scholarship. Tim Hawley is juiced. This defensive end has 92 block shed, 88 finesse move out of high school. That is insane. This the type of guy to get drafted after one year in the league. Dude, I'm not convinced by a lot of the players on this board. Like, they're low overall, they're bust, there's no one really standing out, so we're gonna have to go refresh. This is a beautiful sight indeed. 81 overall, 79 offense, 82 defense. This is the best team we've put together by far. Salona Beach going up against U of a, this is going to be a fun season opener. Arizona up by 10 overall points on us. We got a tough one on our hands. Starting off year five on defense. Let's get it going with a bang. And uh, wow, Spencer is getting loose. Got some new faces out here. A lot of studs on defense, people developing, taking all the right steps. Third and five, it's time to dial in on defense. Halfback draw. What was he thinking? Where was he going? Love to see it early in this one. Defense makes the stand. We're getting that ball. Bring him out. Bring him out. Brandon Moore arm sleeve and all ready to get the season going hand off to Brent Burrell bounces from a couple look at the starting offense got a couple new offensive linemen and the tight end Williams a six foot eight target machine that guy is going to be a threat for years to come excited to see players like Buchanan the Alaskan take the next step unfortunately our first drive was sleeved up Brandon Moore ends up in a major sack and we're putting it back third and ten let's make the stand here I'm taking control of Barry and we drop him for a major sack the season's young we're only in our second drive on defense, but they're playing well, and I have a feeling this is going to be a good unit this year. The downside is Willie, Dorsey, and Shane are all seniors, defensive ends, and they're graduating this year. And honestly, now that I think about it, that's a hallmark moment for Salona Beach, as those were the first guys Coach Philip Rivers brought in in his first ever recruiting class. Change of pace back, Nolan Scope out here on the field looking to spell Brent Burrell from time to time, but we're going to get that one off to Williams, who has a great catch, his first ever collegiate catch, the six foot eight tight end. You can just tell the dude is a big dude. Dude, but he's got to work on holding the ball first in 25 on this one we got him again though it's Williams please hold on to the ball friend third in 25 such a long way to go and dropped again this is going to be brutal not much momentum on offense so far defense on the other hand can we get the stop bro fresh set of downs he's scrambling Dorman looking to make a big play with his legs and he does that second and 10 little option there he's going to dump it out to the running back who just rumbles right on through us do i see that correctly zero total yards okay we gotta fix that and quickly as fuller up the middle first and goal looking for the hold it's a pitch to the outside we can stop him i believe third down just one more stop here on defense read option that fooled us really need to get the alaskan star more involved so let's go ahead and do that as he breaks free from the tackler 97 speed what you got for me okay 42 yards that is the type of spark plug this team needs and geez i didn't have a time to even think year five in the offensive line is still one of our pain points for sure but that ball the codes are the full back getting loose little counter halfback play Burrell got some space here the speed just tracked down with just 25 seconds left the play action seems like a good play or 
So I thought. Third and 11. I think we got Jennings out here. Yes, sir. Against the star DB. First down. 15 seconds and counting. We're going to go with a little option. I think we go back to Brandon Moore. Timeout. Third and five. Let's come through big. Outside. Inaccurate ball. I'm going to take my points. And what is this? Kai Smallwood no longer here. It's Cleveland. Three points in the first half. It's kind of lackluster. That's why we're going to get things going here in the second. QB sprint out is a pretty fun play here. I like just to scan the field and throw picks, apparently. Here we go. Let's. Oh, he's running a little QB sprint out himself. And he's found Thomas. And he holds on. Let's just send it up the middle. We stop him, yes. Once again, we're sending the house up the middle. Come on now, make a stop. Oh my gosh, he got bodied. Alex Marshall bodied us, come on. Season opener turning a little bit sour, so I am in desperate need to turn it around, and no one wants to catch a ball. It's year five, guys. I thought we were past that. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe Jennings will get things right for us. We'll take the first down. Running the halfback stretch, Brent going back outside, cutting it back in, fighting to stay up. That was a nice play. Third and one. Let's scramble out with Moore's legs. Why not let it fly and see if we can come back and make a play? Fourth and one, handoff. Burrell up the middle. He's got it. Let's go ahead and give Nolan Scope his first touch of the game, shedding through one man for a few. Just past midfield. Let's hand it back off. Nolan finding a hole, getting another four. Split backfield, back to Nolan once more. Up the middle. He's got a hole. He's got some room. First down. It's time for the sponges to bear down, if you know what I mean, and get the dub. We have to start scoring. Brandon Moore, let's go with the read option here. Bounce off some dudes, and that didn't really work. Read option not really working today with uh, our quarterback, which it usually does, but Buchanan, oh man, we found him in the corner. The Alaskan sponge finds Pater for the first time in year five. Suddenly, we're only down by a touchdown, and defense needs to come up big here. Second and 14, bringing a blitz. Dang, how do they always get open? Third and short, this is where a big play is needed, and we just get caught up on the backs of these offensive linemen, and Marshall's just busting out of there. Are you kidding me? This is probably field goal range if I had to guess, so we just need to get out of field goal range, and we could have picked that. What is going on with the defense right now? We have to make a stop, and we don't do it. Looking for any big chunk plays where we can get them. The Alaskans got a step. And why is no one catching the ball today? It's a dropping the ball clinic and a get sacked clinic today. Third and 19. Yes, 19. Do we have anyone? Anyone at all? Fourth and 11. Anything goes here. So let's just let one rip to three receivers. No one wanted to catch it. That has got to be one of the most frustrating scenes I've ever seen. And then you guessed it. That's all she wrote in this one. Arizona gets the dub. An efficient game from Braden Dorman. We're 0-1 in year five. Arizona's a tough opponent, but that was not encouraging. Bad news for Salona Beach. Mark Blanchard has already committed after just one week to Texas A&M. This guy was an 86 speed, 88 throw power athlete, and he would have made a heck of a difference here. With Mark Blanchard headed to Texas A&M, I think we found his doppelganger, Zach Miller. One inch shorter and three pounds lighter, Zach Miller is actually plus one overall over his doppelganger. 87 speed, 90 excel, 86 throw power, 82 accuracy. I'd be a happy camper with this guy. It's time for the Salona Beach home opener, and I'm hoping for a much better result than week one against Arizona. This time, another Wildcat team comes to town, Northwestern visiting San Diego. Ah, yes, Absorbent Field, home of the sponges. We're much better in the ocean atmosphere, soaking up all the nearby humidity, water, anything that comes out from the ocean makes us feel right at home back in black and we mean business today as we deliver the ball to king second down here the alaskan is wide open until that safety gets back to cover but he just blows it and we get the wide open snag fourth down in the red zone we start with the ball for a reason because we mean business and well clearly business was not booming on that play we turn it over. However, business could be booming here on defense if we just make the stop, and we do. Third and 10, let's dump this one out to Buchanan, and he is gonna pick up the first down. I need to see Brandon Moore get more dual threat-like, and so I'm gonna call a read option, the spin, nifty play. Fresh set, let's throw this one out. We got Jennings, what a catch, what a play. Going back to the air, wow, the pressure is immense. It's just so immense. Brandon Moore went down a little too rough on that last one. And thankfully, we got a backup that's pretty capable. Adam Allen here. 
I don't know why Donnie Turner was walking like he had bricks for shoes. Brandon Moore with some back spasms. He will return. Thankfully, in the meantime, Adam Allen delivers the play. Buchanan down the sideline. Are you telling me that's not a touchdown? Low key, since we don't use this very often, I'm going to challenge that. Just kidding. We can't challenge it. I don't think it matters. We're down to the one. Let's just plunge in. Dropping back in cover six zone. Maybe that will help us get a stop. And wow, he was wide open, thankfully, out of bounds. Good news. It looks like Brandon Moore is back. I'm going to go deep. Nolan Scope is wide open. He makes the catch. He's going down the sideline he's got to move fighting for the end zone a little bit of deja vu back to the inches line it's a flick out to brent burrell up the middle he's got another touchdown let the soak down begin week one was disappointing in week two all we just needed was to get back to the salt water second and six northwestern just outside the red zone they're going for a big play he's got hubbard and oh man two minute drill paid off for them gonna send some guys on streak see if anyone can break free and that's exactly what we were hoping for Walters picked us off. That is not what the doctor ordered. And he's going all the way back down. Jeez. Second and goal with just 12 seconds left. Barry's up the middle to stop the run, but not the quarterback. Touchdown. They're tying it up. Second half magic right near the logo. Let's go out to our tight end. Williams hauls it in for seven. QB sprint out. We got some space, but we're also just going to dump it out to the six foot eight tight end who gets the first. Rock Boston was special to this team and we need Williams to play like him. Third and long. Let's see if we can get any yards back. And man, that was an inaccurate ball right into the DB's hands. Here's a look at Kevin Goodman, number 23, the DB stud gem player he will be a cornerstone for this defense in the years to come and with that play we're gonna get the ball back and let's try to score first and 10 a little flat out here to buchanan who runs a man over he's got speed he's got strength he's gonna be a solid receiver for the next couple of years first in 10 let's just dump it out to nolan scope see if he can get us a few yards close to the red zone once more we got a wide open jennings keeping his feet in bounds for a nice play it's crunch time now slant to buchanan he hauls it in and he's got a first and goal second and goal read option felt like the right choice brent is in the end zone for the third time today fourth quarter action here northwestern is driving and they got a wide open tight end first and goal here we go first and goal they're going with the slant they got him ricky is in the end zone they're tying this thing up let's get a good drive going here sustainable good plays efficiency everything check all the boxes second and eight let's hand it off to brent he's got a wide open lane and he is off to the races down the sideline to the 20 to the 10 into the end zone pay dirt brent burrell with a fourth touchdown on the day passing donnie turner's rushing record three minutes to go third down stop needed can we do it yes just got to get the first down let's see if grant williams that's not grant sorry that's brian williams the six foot eight tight end he converts now that was clutch and we love to see it brent and nolan trying to ice this one out one first down here will do the trick that'll do clock is winding out but let's go ahead and get that insurance touchdown we want because who says you shouldn't be stat padding nolan scope wants his first collegiate touchdown and dang he stopped short two seconds left let's hand it off last time last chance he's got it touchdown nolan told y'all we just needed to soak it up a little bit more and a home opener got us right brent with four touchdowns on the ground big win a little recruiting update we're not going to be able to land jacob battle the number one middle linebacker he is pulling away from us and we've given him all we got unfortunately the same is also true for frank goins a top power running back with 89 speed 85 spec catch we're gonna have to abandon the fight that's okay because jerome Payne here from pennsylvania will be a good fit danny medlock jerry walker two top prospects all no goes here as well it's good to pull away early so you can allocate points elsewhere like my friend Dwayne cade here from colorado a landlocked sponge he is a five-star athlete with 90 speed 92 excel 76 catching 86 route running it sounds like a premier receiver We'd love to bring him in. Cautiously optimistic here about Zach Miller, the stud quarterback we found. He has all the tools we need. I think this is the first time on paper we are even at overall 81 apiece for Coastal and Salona Beach. It's the battle for the beaches. Which coast is the best coast? Let me know down in the comment section if you think Salona Beach is the best coast. The sponges, do we have it locked on the west side? Or is it South Carolina and the Chanticleers? You let me know. Rocking the lime helmet, rocking the lime pants. I think we're here to say a statement today. Third and one up the middle to Brent. He has got us the first down. Oh yeah, he's got a step. That is our big tight end and he cannot secure the bag. It's so disheartening to see him struggle so early 
early with the handles. Man needs to go to Rock Boston University because I was not seeing that out of Rock. Both schools one in one on the young season. It is a long way to go. And wow, that was a great deflection by Goodman. This young DB was all over it. Scrambling out. Let's see if we can do it with Brandon Moore's legs. Yes, we can. On the teal field, getting nifty with it. Oh yeah, middle was so open. Wow, I'm blind as a bat. Get a stop here and get on out of here. Big sack. Oh yeah, we take those. Big Willie setting a school record for sacks, beating his own record. So he's topping it off from last year. Brandon Moore, the offense, back at it. Nolan Scope, in and out the hands. Both teams' defense stepping up early in this one. Just need a little bit of offense from the guys. Third and six. Brian, are you there? Hello. This feels super risky. Halfback dive on fourth down. Yeah, what am I thinking? And thanks to that call, we are now forced to hold on defense, but three points is likely. To snap the kick, number two nails it. Take this kick off back. We got some room here. Cozart just bursting right through the hole. And what a spin. If that doesn't get some life into this offense, I don't know what will. Brandon Moore on the read option, looking for a spin, staying up. Yes, sir. Fresh set of downs here, scrambling out to his right. He's got some options, but he's gonna take off and use the legs to get an eight. Second and two, scrambling once more. Just gonna throw it to the big man and... Let's pretend like that never happened. Just forcing way too many issues right now. But Buchanan, that is a problem. An issue, you could say, for the defense. Dropping back, scrambling, escaping. Got a lot of room right in front of him. Let's just take it down to the goal line. This could be a good opportunity for Chavis, the fullback. But nope, pressure's coming in. We shake it off somehow. Stays alive. Not for long. That last sack knocked Brandon Moore out. Adam Allen's back in. Let's dump it out to King, who gets the touchdown. Not going to say that was pretty because that did look a little sloppy from the defense there. But hey, we take it. Second half football down by three. And yes, we get him. The sack is major. Another big stop. Adam Allen came in and did some good things for the offense. Now it's back to Brandon Moore, who connects with a wide open Buchanan across the middle. Brandon Moore can't get some connections going here. Well, I might need to go back to Adam Allen. Third and 18. Let's go up to our receiver Jennings here. Danger zone. All right. Well, that's another stalled drive from Brandon. I'm going to probably bring in Adam here next. Here we go. First and goal. We've got to make a stop. Coastal has been cruising. Coastal cruising down on us. They're back to pass, and the quarterback's out to scramble. Coleman there makes the play. We're still holding on. Third and goal. Looking for the defense to step up right here, right now. Going outside. Jones was in his own island. After Brandon completes less than 25% of his passes, it's Adam Allen's turn. These two have literally been fighting for the job ever since they walked foot on campus. Some games. I'm wowed by what I see from Adam Allen and other games I'm wowed by what I see from Brandon Moore. Teamwork makes the dream work and honestly both guys have played big roles in getting us to this point. Now for future reference, Philip Rivers definitely wants to find his guy. So let's land a stud in the offseason and make him that guy. Adam Allen second in 10 fourth quarter action. I think he's got a Buchanan wide open. The Alaskan sponge in to the end zone for six. Adam Allen threw a dime to his man and the defense is all over Blake Boda, you're going nowhere, my friend. Adam Allen seizing the opportunity here to show what he can do as Jennings makes a big truck. Adam Allen has been a difference maker today. He's found all the right reads, made all the right plays, decisions, everything. Third and five, dumping it to the fullback. Chavis makes the play. Yes, sir, big man. Second and seven. We're going to go to the big tight end. And yo, I just forced that thing so hard. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Please don't tell me this is the end of the game. And I just ruined it. Third down, all out of timeouts. We have to stop this right now. It's a pass. I was not expecting that, I must admit. And they ice it. This is a shame. Adam Allen looked good, had the momentum on his side, and unfortunately fell just short at the last second to Coastal. And that's a wrap. So we lose 17-14. We're down to one in two. What is going on? So unfortunately, we dropped the Battle of the Beaches. And it looks like Salona Beach is not the only team rebuilding. The Akron Zips, surprisingly, 79 overall, 84 offense. This is our next opponent. Akron is 0-2 on the season. Salona Beach, 1-2 now after dropping that heartbreaker at the end of the last game against Coastal. All right, let's start off this game getting Adam Allen in rhythm here. Dumping it out to our running back, Brent Burrell, with a spin in the juke. Big play to kick off the game. Right back to the man, this time on the ground 
and he coughs it up. Are you kidding me? Moore Jr. picks it up and Akron has the ball. So maybe this really isn't the old Akron team that I once knew and my goodness. Who are these guys? It's definitely not an encouraging start to the game, but maybe we can come back and get one out to Jennings. Third and 14, we got a chance here to do something big, and we got a wide open Cozart, who if he can just break free, he'll get down to the first and goal line. That is how you respond back to the 6'8 tight end. He cashes in for his first ever college touchdown, Brian Williams, there we go. Third and seven, let's get a stop here. And that is a dangerous pass from the Zips quarterback, Paris, throwing it into the danger zone. Zips are at the point of no return, going across the middle and fourth down. And yo, I just blew my own coverage there. Now I really wanna hold them because I blew the fourth down conversion and at least we'll get a hold in the three. Akron squeaked in that last field goal, but we're back on offense and that's where we want it. Put the ball in Adam Allen's hands. That's A-OK -okay with me, the six foot eight tight end going up against a DB and why in the world would you not try to go for the ball ball back in Paris's hands here third down he's going across the middle and that is open again I am not plugging that up zips out here low-key exposing us and uh he catches his own deflection here we go we got Brian wide open he catches it and keeps it moving that's the big man. Read option at midfield here. Adam Allen does have legs himself. And yeah, he's off to the races. What did I say? Adam, do it all by yourself. Here we go. Across the middle. Wow. We finally hold him. Third down opportunity. We convert. Hand off Brent up the middle. Fumbles again. Are you kidding me? And then the next play, they score. I'm stumped. Akron's a different team. So to me, it seems like Akron's actually performing really well and my school is getting exposed. I don't know who Akron played in the first couple of games, but they feel like a legitimate team that is hard for anyone to beat and uh, we're having our fair share of troubles. Adam Allen efficient thus far in the game. We got a wide open Cozart who can go all the way. We still got a chance in this game. It's just crazy to see Akron playing like that. Defense came out with a vengeance here in the second half and we're gonna be able to get the hold. Adam Allen back to work. He goes, he finds Cozart once more. Third and two, just gonna dump it out down beneath, but that defense was all over it. Have not been too successful so far this year on fourth downs, but thankfully King hauls that one in. Dropping back, Buchanan, what a step on the defender, the Alaskan with the speed. Buchanan has a buddy back from home here on the sponges as well as we brought in one of his linebacker friends from Alaska. But forget that for now. Brian Williams, the new tight end off the block, six foot eight machine scores his second touchdown. Third and 10 looking for that fresh set of downs. Let's go to the running back. It's Burrell. He gets it. Just past midfield, going down the sideline. We got Buchanan once more within the red zone, just outside the goal line. Brent Burrell is going to scamper to the outside, cut it back in first and goal of the one. At the one, let's just see if we can top it off with a handoff to Brent. He does the rest. Not going to lie, this Akron Zips team has pleasantly surprised me, uh, but when you're playing an absorbent field, you better watch out because we're going to soak you up. Just one second left in the third. Let's see if we can get the stop, and we do. Second and 13, Brian continues to have a big game. Curl flat, we got Jennings, that's another first. I am extremely happy with how Adam Allen has been playing and wow, I'm incomplete. Yeah, let's review that. Jennings with one foot in, that's a completion. Thankfully the refs agree. Just one play after the other, we're having quite the performance today. Adam Allen is dialed in. Over 400 passing yards, we want a little bit more here to top off this game and I think we got him, Jennings. That was a creative play. That actually is a record. In year five, we've never thrown for four touchdown passes in a game. Well, Akron's defense let them down, that's for sure, but this offense is something else. 31 points, or I'm sorry, they're going for two to try to make it 32. Leave it to the Akron Zips to score up the most points in a single game against us this year. That is a wrap. The Salona Beach Sponges take care of business on their home turf as they should, but props to the Akron Zips. That was the best offense we played all year. Two and two in non-conference play. Honestly, not what we were expecting when we started the season, but hey, we'll shake it off. It's conference play time, and we're going up against the San Jose State Spartans. San Jose, Salona Beach, technically a light in-state rivalry here. 
Nothing as crazy as Coastal Carolina and San Diego State, but we still don't like these guys and we still want to beat them bad. Fresno State, San Diego State, Salona Beach, that's rounding out your top three in the West. Salona Beach on the road. So far, 0-2 in the young season when we're on the road and 2-1-0 at home, but that is going to change today. Adam Allen played out of his mind in last week's victory and he's ready to do it again. Third and six coming out slinging in this one across the middle. That's two drops on the first drive. Really? Starting off with a blitz. It's a slip screen and and he's got some space and blocks. That dude had some room. Third down, big play here needed from the defense, and that is what we get. Alex Brown delivers the punishing blow. Adam Allen getting mobile, dropping it to Kozar. Is that his third drop, dude? Really? Maybe that's my cue to go ground and pound. Brent up the middle. Third and four, we got it. Perfect time to call up the bench. Go to Jennings, and he's got it. We called Jennings' name last time. Let's go back to the man. He has some reliable hands. That's what Adam needs right now. Looking to convert here, third down. Down. Let's scramble out to our side. Yep, I see you. It's Jennings again, Mr. Reliable, early in this one. Into the danger zone we go. Brian Williams, welcome to Salona Beach. Sorry, San Jose State, not to put salt in the wound, if you know what I mean. That's a fourth down. Salty sponge all over it. Back on the attack, it's Williams hauling a tightly contested one. Curl flat, pressure coming in. Just going to dump it out here to Nolan Scope, who gets the first down. Allen dropping back. He's going to hit the guy out here. That's Jennings once more at midfield. This is where we shine. Jennings, hello. Why make things interesting when you can just go pedal to the metal? Brian, I thought that was in your old life. Please, no more drops. Or I'm going to have to go seek a replacement or something. Someone that can at least contest as a tight end. And well, Adam Allen probably got too cute with that. And are you serious? Yeah, thank you. Tackle him, please. Third and 14, trying to make sure that interception does not come back to haunt us. And yes, Andrews says, get on out of here. Another fourth down, another aggressive play call. But Adam Allen has some wheels. And I hit the slide button, but I guess my controller didn't register. Trying to be the masters of getting out of danger zone here. That is exactly what we're looking to do. The pressure is getting in. And he had all the time in the world. Wow, what a sell, though. Dropped it when all said and done. What a circus of a play. In theory, this should be a textbook kick but you never know he's good cooking all the way down to the red zone nolan scope gets us closer here we go third down who's gonna come through who's going to step up i guess adam allen will just step up with his own legs touchdown we can keep running the mountain west when we play like this defense doing well offense doing well nothing more we need to ask 16 seconds left if we can cash in that would be sweet so let's just throw one up and that is exactly what i was hoping for buchanan that's not like you well that should have been a touchdown all things considered and well now it's fourth down my plan is to get as much time as i can and then just lob one up until the clock expires unfortunately it's picked off which is not good for the stat sheet. I think we can put this one out of reach with another touchdown. So that's exactly what we're looking to do. Kozar, just a gut, just a gutsy performance on defense all around today. They're two for 10 on third down conversions. Make it two for 11. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention Jason Cunningham, the quarterback, five for 20, 49 passing yards. That's the magic of the sponge defense. And let's not lose that magic now. Spartans trying to cash in late in the fourth quarter here. They got it. It's fourth down and it's not like we can just bend over, let this team get the ball back. We're going to fight for it. And bro, I am out here doing some crazy stuff. That one's on me for predetermining my route. So that never is a good thing. Glimpse of life here for San Jose in the fourth quarter and not for long as I sack him. Just two and a half minutes left. They're trying to go fast because they need to score twice. And the man coverage is just getting exposed. So in cases like this, maybe we need to go back to zone coverage and yeah that's gonna do the trick fourth and 12 they're just handing it off that's a very surprising play call they turn it over it's our ball it's game we take those mountain west w's baby and even if we make a couple mistakes here and there 21 to 9 that's pretty decisive eric joseph is our first recruiting victory he has committed to salona beach and that's always great news but man i think we got some major recruiting victories around the corner because we are pulling away in the zach miller sweepstakes all he has his eyes set on is us. And may I remind you, 87 speed, 90 excel, 86 throw power, 82 accuracy, 80 spin, 86 juke, 85 elusiveness. 
even has catching and route running ability. Back at home for week seven against the Nevada Wolf Pack. This is about the halfway point and uh, we have been unstoppable at home. That could spell trouble for Nevada, but check this out. Tony Wiggins is the first five-star recruit to visit our campus in Salona Beach history. Tony wants us to rush the ball for 100 yards at least. I think we got him covered. Adam Allen has shown me the last couple of weeks why it's been a good decision to go with him at QB. Man, oh man, I want to win the five-star quarterback athlete recruit over badly third and six i'm gonna go out down the sideline to buchanan and he is good at getting some separation oops i accidentally hit that like off the snap and we still made it work four for four on third down conversions i intend to keep it that way but that's not how the cards are dealt that just means i need to test the water and go for it here on fourth down what a catch by king one-handed and in style slowing it down here and check out that left-handed snag oh man chewed up a lot of clock and got points out of it that is what we like to see and we're gonna make some defensive stops right here and get that ball back third and eight let's zone up here i'm all over that barry makes the stop handing it back to brent up the middle he breaks free good run here looking to pad up those rushing numbers and brent it's gonna get a big one there smack dab midfield here brian you got so much room and i just got baited horton intercepts me and i thought that was open for days dialing back in is always the right answer after you throw a pick and some help would be good oh my goodness coach philip rivers has no faith in our kicker cleveland i guess can't even hit a 30 something yarder so he's making us go for it on fourth and long. Jennings, hold on, keep fighting. Oh my goodness, that's a touchdown. All grit, all determination. Jennings wanted that one bad. Oh my goodness. Got up with the hops, survives a tackle, sheds that man, fights forward, fights off two more guys, he's in. Everything going our way so far in the first half of play. With 28 seconds left here in the first half, I might as well try chucking one up and all right. Let's wipe that from our memory. Adam Allen doing what he's got to do on offense, minus those picks that I forced. Uh, he's doing what he's got to do. A cool 188 and two touchdowns. That is good stuff over here, my friend. And Brent, someone catch a ball for me. He's, his numbers would look even better. I understand that was a running back trying to make a receiver-like play, but it's like we're this far into the rebuild. Our guy's got to start gripping it. Fourth down, I'm sending it because I'm aggressive like that. And... Yeah, off his shins. That's not going to work. Fourth quarter defense looking a lot like the first, second, and third quarter making all the stops. Fourth down calling a cover two here. That's going to do the trick, and we're getting the ball in our own zone. So an instant red zone possession, that'll work in our favor. Not quite at the 100-yard goal we set, and it's going to stay that way. Fourth and 13, back to the ground we go. Adam Allen makes a move. Oh, baby. Second string squad is in, but I think we still need a few more yards to get the bonus goal for the recruit. Third and fourth. 14 read option brandon moore still showing that he can do it with his legs and he stays up you've got to be kidding me that was an insane run shut out football that is the brand of defense we like to see and adam allen again player of the game this dude is on a roll tony wiggins visited our school liked what he saw plus 600 points we are inches away from landing that five-star recruit in fact we're 5,000 points ahead of alabama for tony wiggins the rhode island salty sponge would be a salona beach first with that five-star recruit coming in he looks like he can be a really good running back or db slash safety he's got good man zone speed all the good stuff but hey at the halfway point this is a good time for me to say if you're soaking up the series make sure to hit that subscribe button drop a like leave a comment i'm excited to bring you all the next year five is off to an encouraging start four and two couple costly ones in the beginning of the season but we've really turned up and san diego state knows what's coming next a battle for san diego kicking off the next one and it's gonna be heated